Hello, my name is Gabriel from Gaba QSC. In this video, we are going to continue with the class how to become a computer technician. So in this, cl in this class, we are going to talk about the different technologies. So if you see this class for the first time, I recommend you to start with the other one. So in this case, we are going to start with the point number two. It will be 64-bit processing. So what it means when you start seeing a different uh, microprocessor, maybe the old ones, the, they were 32 bits only, and now you see that the new ones are 64 bit, and it's, it might say 64 bit, 32 bit, or maybe you see new programs and, and other things. I'm not going to explain uh, these uh, things so you can understand much better. So, uh, in the beginning, uh, the data bus was. 8 bit. So uh, at that time, the first uh, microprocessor, the Intel 8088, so it used to um, handle around 1 megabyte, uh, no more than that. So remember in those ages, in the dark ages, uh, you the computer may have like 256 kilobyte or maybe 64 kilobyte or something like that so it was not something very big so that was one of the the reasons so over time they start creating six, uh, 16 32 64 and they change and they increase the sizes of the address bus uh, from 20 24 uh, 32 and surely in the future will be more so um, now we are going to talk about the, the address, the address bus. You have 2 uh, to the power of 64 uh, bytes of RAM. That will be a huge number. Uh, this is the, the number that you see here is huge. So if you want to install, um, I mean, if you want to have a lot of memory uh, and if you can uh, have a huge bus, of course, you're going to be able to do that. So the the main the main uh, benefit of 64 bit is that you can have a almost unlimited uh, amount of memory so uh, the benefit that you may have here as I, I i wrote here it says you can work with large files so what it means it means let, let's say you have a very old computer and it's, it's 32 bit and you will see that uh, the maximum amount of memory that you can install is four gigabytes and that's it so what happens if you have to start editing videos like i'm doing right now um, the files are huge this this video is it made it was made in 4k so the files are huge and if you don't have much memory the computer will struggle to start working with, with it so that is the the main thing you have uh, I mean, if you have a very old computer, if you use the, comp the computer maybe for Word, maybe browsing and something like that, maybe you will be okay. But if you need a, a lot of power, 64-bit, that is the way to go, at least today. Maybe in the future will be more power, of course. So another thing that you're going to see is X86. 86 means the set of instructions so that will be like the language that the, the microprocessor will understand so if you have another microprocessor like itanium from intel that was made for servers and all those things so maybe the power pc and all those things all of those uh, microprocessors they have different set of instructions so that means that you cannot install maybe windows in a in another computer that doesn't run this kind of a uh, set of instructions the x86 so that is the the main thing so in now 2016 and in the future surely they will continue using the x86 so that is the same the set of instruction it may be 32 bit it may be 64 bit but it will have the the old one so th what it means that you can still run the the old stuff that used to run in the 80 88 of intel so when you see 8x64 it means it's 64 bit so if you have an old computer that is 32 bit 
it will not work. So that is the thing. And usually when you see this, some people will think, well, maybe it's 32 bit and 64 bit. No, that is not the case. It means that it's 64 bit. That's fine using the set of instruction of the one of the first uh, microprocessors that there the was in the history. So when you buy the software, pay attention what kind of uh, Windows do you have because I, I, I have seen Windows 7, maybe it's 32 bit, and I think uh, Windows 8 uh, as well. And if you want to run maybe a software that was designed to run in 64 bit, of course it will not work. So that is the, the main thing. If you have a 64 bit, you can run the old stuff as, as well. So that is uh, one of the things. So that is the main advantage is that 64 bit can handle uh, a lot of memory so that way uh, you can install whatever and you can upgrade the memory almost until the end of the age so th that is uh, one one thing that you have to think uh, when you are choosing a, a cpu if you have a very old computer throw it that way and then buy a new one um, try to uh, don't, don't use all computers uh, usually they're very, very slow so that is the main thing so we're going to continue in the next class how to uh, how to know <laughs> we are going to going to continue in the next class uh, talking about virtualization support and the rest of the subject that you see here so remember if you like this video uh, click like share it with your friends subscribe if you want to know when I upload the next video so that way you can become a computer technician and you can get your certification CompTIA A+. So see you until the next time. Bye.